Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example, we have to uh, find the limit and we're going to use an algebraic method. And also we're going to support our answer, hopefully with using a graph and a table. So first of all, let's take a look. I'm going to take this zero and plug it in this expression and I'm going to end up with zero over zero, which is an undefined form. We cannot do anything with this one. So that tells us we should use a different method, not substitution, to uh, find this limit. And the algebraic method we're going to use here for getting a limit is very simple. It's We're going to have to write the uh, canonic form of this binomial 1 plus x to the third power and you can use the uh, binomial theorem or you can use uh, pascal triangle or you can simply do the multiplication 1 plus x times 1 plus x times 1 plus x you should end up with 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed that's the uh, expression we're going to use to replace our cube in the original problem. So we're going to have 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. Don't forget about this minus 1, which was part of the problem, over x. And now we should notice that this 1 and this 1 cancel out. So what we have left is 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. This is the numerator of this rational expression over x. Now the numerator, if you notice, has three terms, 3x, 3x squared, and x cubed. We can factor out an x. We're going to have x times 3 plus 3x plus x squared over x. And now you notice this x cancel out. And now we can use the substitution method. We can replace x with 0. And we're going to get 3 plus 3 times 0 plus 0 squared. And that will be nothing else than 3. This limit here is 3, so it's on this algebraic method. Let's take a look now a little bit now on the graphical approach. And this is the graph of the rational function. You see it. It looks like a quadratic, but it has a hole here. You need to be careful of that. And you notice when x is getting closer and closer to 0, that's what I said here. The function is getting closer and closer to 3. That means the limit is 3. And also you can see a numerical approach using a TI calculator. And you notice when x is getting closer and closer to 0, the value of the function y is getting closer and closer to 3. Be sure you know how to put a function in using this uh, y button. And also you need to set up the table in this format to start from negative 0 0.01 and to go by 0.1 and also you need that button to see this table. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.